Hello, my name's Kevin Selvich and I'm the European Regional Development Manager for LEADER based in London in the UK. And in this short video, we're going to introduce SIMPTE 2110 Part 20. SIMPTE ST2110 is a standard for professional media over managed IP networks. This part of the standard specifies the transport of uncompressed active video in such systems using RTP formats based on IETF RFC 4175. And reference documents include IETF RFC 3550, 4566 and 5285. Also included are colour imagery specifications including ISO 11664 ITUR BT 601, 709, 1886, 2020 and 2100. This part of the standard specifies the transport of uncompressed active video in such systems using RTP formats based on IETF RFC 4175. Ancillary data in the context of television systems refers to a means by which non-video information such as audio and other forms of essence and metadata may be embedded within the serial digital interface. Ancillary data can be located in non-picture portions of the horizontal scan lines and this is known as horizontal ancillary data or HANC and can also be located in non-picture regions of the frame and this is known as vertical ancillary data or VANC. So as SIMPTE ST2110-20 only supports active video this means that both the HANC and VANC information is not included in the 2110-20 video essence stream. The ancillary data that is stored in the HANC and VANC is now contained within the SIMPTE 2110-40 ancillary data essence as well as the session description protocol. So what do we mean by active video? So let's take a look at an analog video waveform. And here we have all the components that make up the video signal. So with SIMPTE ST2110 part 20, we are only interested in the active video component. So that means on this diagram, we're only interested in the green area, the active pixels. This results in both the vertical phase and horizontal phase displaying an offset. The vertical phase delay of 21 lines is the delay between the end of active video and the start of active video in a 1080i system. The horizontal phase delay is 4.152 microseconds. The vertical and horizontal phase delay are now clearly displayed on the timing diagram chart. The V phase delay of 21 lines represents the offset between the PTP zero point and video RTP start point. In a 1080p system, the vertical phase delay increases to 43 lines and the horizontal phase delay increases to 12.559 microseconds. As well as the traditional crosshair timing display, the Leader Zen series also supports a timing comparison graph, which can display either individually or simultaneously the dash 20 video in green, dash 30 audio in yellow, and dash 40 ancillary data in magenta. As could be seen from the traditional crosshair timing chart on the left, we have a total phase offset of 777 microseconds. And this is also displayed 
on the time in comparison video section. So whilst the crosshaired graphic on the left gives you an instantaneous response, the timing comparison chart on the right can give you a display view from anywhere from two minutes up to 72 hours. As well as displaying a timing reference based upon PTP, there is also a requirement in hybrid environments to display a reference to the black and burst signal. The session description protocol, RFC 3550, is a file that describes format information for reproducing video information transmitted in IP packets, multicast address information, etc. So thank you for joining us for this short video on an introduction to SMPTE 2110 part 20. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to contact me on the numbers currently displayed on the screen. And for more information, stay tuned to the Leader Europe YouTube channel.